Okay, boys, it is time to rate the women of Overwatch based on how hot they are. We are going to just go alphabetically, so let's start with Anna. Anna is an old lady, but I'm going to give her a C tier because she has some younger skins where she's hot. Donald, you stupid son of a bitch, you can't just lower her because you don't like that she's old. She's still one of the most powerful healers in the game and has one of the most diverse movesets. Her nano boost is a game changer. Oh yeah, of course, Sleepy Joe likes the character with a sleep dart. I bet if you played her, you'd miss every shot, not even get 2,000 healing by the end of the game. Now, guys, remember, we are just going off of looks. We are not talking about gameplay. So let's just settle and put her at B tier. Fine, but only the young version. It doesn't fucking matter, Donald. Okay, so next up we have Ash. A tier, 100%. Oh, here we go. This chick knows how to handle not one, but two different types of firearms at the same time. She's a natural leader of her gang. Donald, you only like her because she looks like Ivanka. You shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. Guys, please don't go down that route. But I do agree with Donald. I would rank Ash pretty high on this list. Unbelievable. Ash has some of the worst skins in the game, and the Such only an reason take, any Joe. of them are any good is because of Bob, who isn't even a chick. We are putting Ash in A and moving on. Unbelievable. We have Bridget next. It's pronounced Brigitte, Jesus fucking Christ, Barack. And you will show her respect. She is the easiest S tier of my life. There is nothing to like about Brigitte, Donald. She ruined Overwatch 1. She ruined Owl. And she ruined the metagame so much that they had to nerf her 12 times in a row and make an entire sequel and take away a tank roll to make up for the loss. D tier, probably even lower. We aren't going off gameplay, Joe. It's not gameplay. Barack already said that. She is a dummy mommy. And we are putting her in S tier end of discussion. I'm going to compromise and put her in A tier. Barack, I swear to God. Moving on, next up we have Diva. S tier. Oh, big surprise, Joe likes Diva. There's nothing wrong with liking Diva. She is clearly one of the most attractive women in this game. You only like her because she looks like she is 12. Guys, stop it. Diva is 19 years old and the age of consent in Korea is 16. Oh, of course you would know that offhand. But it isn't about her age. She has a fun personality, some of the best skins. And in Overwatch 2, they buffed her ass immensely. I got to agree with Joe here. They did make her butt a lot better in Overwatch 2. I'm putting her in S tier. Go buy some gamer girl bathwater, you fucking simps. Next up is Echo. She can literally turn into anybody we want, so let's all agree just to put her in S. Agreed. Agreed. I'm not going to fuck a robot, though. And now we have Junker Queen. I think we can agree she is an A tier at the very least. Now wait just a minute. I don't want some Antifa-looking thug in my top tiers. Donald, what the fuck are you talking about? You just said that you like dummy mommies. Yes, when they look like women, not when they look like Mad Max Fury Road ripoff bullshit. You fucking idiot. Mad Max Fury Road was a masterpiece. And Charlize Theron is considered one of the hottest women in Hollywood, even with her head completely shaved off. I'll allow her to be in B, and that's only for her abs, nothing else. I'll put her in B just so we can move on. Now we have Kiriko. S tier. Donald, just because she has a fox doesn't mean she watches Fox News. It's called a kitsune, you uncultured swine. And for the record, I like the uwu ninja weeaboo style. But you don't like diva. I think you fell asleep at the last UN meeting, Sleepy Joe. Korea is not the same as Japan, you racist. Yes, but Diva has the same uwu personality that Kiriko does, and Kiriko's voice just doesn't match her look. I agree with both of you on this, actually. Kiriko is very attractive, but does have her flaws. I'm going to put her in A tier. Next up is May. C for China, F for fat, average it out and put her in D. You literally just called me racist, Donald, and then throw that shit into our chat? I want on the record to say that I agree that May is D tier, but not because of what Donald said, because that's horrible. Hate to say it, but I agree, but I'm not happy on the reasoning. Mercy? S -tier. S tier. Okay, that was easy. How about Moira? D tier. She looks like a man. Lots of people are into the androgynous look, and frankly, I find her charming. Yeah, lots of people like women who look like men. How's Michelle doing, Barack? Donald, just for that, I'm putting her in B. Don't you fucking dare. Orisa is a six-month-old robot, so I'm going to just put her in F. Barack, take Moira out of B tier right now. Next up, we have Farah. Personally, I think she's a good example of an attractive, independent woman and deserves B, maybe an A? I'd put her in A tier. I'd put her in B, but she's way hotter than Moira. Donald, will you shut the fuck up about Moira? We already moved past that. No, I will not. Barack only put her there to piss me off. He doesn't believe she is a B, and he put her there anyways. Let's put Farah in B. Oh, now you are pretending to ignore me. Fine, I'll drop the stupid fucking Moira thing. Thoughts on Sojourn? Thick thighs save lives, Barack. Agreed. Best thighs in the game. A tier? A tier. Sombra? I don't like her. Care to elaborate on that, Donald? No. Okay, well, on that note, I'm going to put her in B so we can hurry this up. I'm okay with B. Symmetra. Most mid-woman in the game, C tier. It is really hard for me to separate her from how fucking annoying she is to play against, but my mind is also telling me C. She has had more changes in her gameplay than Sleepy Joe has had in his diapers. All right, now that just tears it. That was completely uncalled for. Donald, stop with the insults. We have three more. Then we can all go get some Wingstop. I'm putting her in C. How do we feel about Tracer? 
Tracer is overrated bullshit just because she is the mascot on the cover, like Pikachu. But still pretty hot, I'd put her in A tier. I thought you didn't like the younger looking women or the Antifa look, Donald. Shut the fuck up, Joe. I started this whole thing talking about young Anna. There's a difference between looking young and healthy and looking like a goddamn child. And where the hell did you get Antifa from her design? She's a lesbian, Donald. She's a what? Tracer, I'm putting in A tier. Widowmaker. S tier, giant ass. Oh, there you go, putting her in S tier just because she's the most sexualized character in the game. I'll have you know I happen to like how tall she is, too. That's still her overly sexualized body. I agree with Donald on this one. She may be over-sexualized, but that doesn't change the fact that she has the best badonkadonk I've ever seen. I'm putting her in S tier. Fine. Finally, we have Zarya. I like her. Donald, her design goes against everything you just argued this entire tier list. What makes Zarya different? I like her voice and, frankly, what she stands for. Okay, I'm not even going to touch that. Let's just put her in B tier and call it a night. That's fine by me. I got to get back to work anyways. Yeah, must be nice, you piece of shit. Okay, I'm going to end the call now. Have a good night, you two. I love you. Love you too. Kisses. Mwah.